Hello and welcome to Medusa's Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Greg, and uh, today, as promised, I am giving you a gluten-free recipe. We're working with cassava flour today, which is uh, uh, it's from the yucca plant. It's a resilient starch. Um, used a lot in Brazil uh, and South America, but uh, for those of you who are on a grain-free diet, I I took my crepe recipe and replaced the flour with cassava and left the whole recipe the same and it worked out great and what's another nice thing about it besides it being gluten-free is that uh, you don't have to let it rest for half an hour to let those gluten settle down because there is no gluten so you can make this crepe batter right away and then go ahead and start making crepes so I've got my uh, my non-stick pan heating up and today we're going to make crepe Suzette which is a lemon and orange uh, crepe that we used to make at chef school table side uh, it would be a whole table side presentation so uh, this is kind of a throwback from the culinary in 1980 and uh, here we go crepe Suzette gluten-free first we're going to make the crepe batter and we're going to start with a pint of milk, eight ounces of sugar, and I think just for the sake of safety, I'm going to use a larger bowl because I would rather be safe than sorry. I could just tell that that bowl wasn't going to be big enough. I got two ounces of melted butter. You got a half a teaspoon of salt. I got nine ounces by weight. You can't measure this by volume. You need to put it on a scale. Nine ounces of cassava flour and two whole eggs. And then we just mix these ingredients until the batter is nice and smooth and like I said because we're using cassava flour we don't have to let this rest for half an hour because we're not building up any glutens in this batter but we do want to make sure that it's a nice smooth I can feel the heat from that pan Usually what I like to do when I'm making crepes, I like to start a little one. I got a little butter here. I'm just going to dab the pan a little bit with that. I'm going to take a little bit of the batter just to check to see how my heat is. I'm going to go up to three quarters heat, but that looked like it uh, was hot enough. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. So that was my test. I put that on the side. Kids love to munch on that. Spread a little jelly, dip it in chocolate. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make two crepes for this dessert. So, you know, again, I lightly butter. You can use another oil if you'd like. I roll the pan around. I pour off the excess. Come back the other way. So, what I've prepped ahead of time for this um, 
crepe Suzette, which is, by the way, the first crepe recipe that I learned, is uh, it's lemon zest and lemon or, uh, juice. It's orange zest and orange juice, which we squeezed at the table side. We zested it. I've got that all made up ahead of time. I've got some unsalted butter as well. I got the orange and the lemon zest, a uh, little brown sugar, a little cavassier, and then I've got my juice. Out of one lemon, I got about uh, a quarter cup of lemon juice, and out of one orange, I got about a half a cup, just a little bit less. So, we really want to get color on these crepes because that's going to add flavor, you know. So basically what I do is I, you know, they're tough enough to grab. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. You can't believe you get that stick color and that I mean this is a grain free pancake at this point you know you could put jam or whatever filling asparagus cheese meats oh my gosh it's endless so and to be gluten free grain free so those people that are on keto diets this one you can eat um, the only thing in here is sugar but, you know, if you're going to use a sugar substitute, you know, they tell you to use equal amounts. Okay, so we're going to take this one out. We're going to let it cool just a little bit. We're going to get this back on. I'm going to oil the bottom of my pan again. I'm going to throw this away. Put some batter in there. Swirl it slowly. And you know what? You cook a bunch of these ahead of time. If you make this batter, you can make all the crepes. Put them in a large Ziploc bag and freeze them with a piece of wax paper in between each one of them. And then when you want a quick dessert, the crepes are already made. All you have to do is make a sauce or fill them and top them with fresh whipped cream or fill them with fresh whipped cream and powdered sugar and then spread some strawberry jelly inside. I mean, it's really, uh, once you've got the crap, uh, most of the work is done. So while we're waiting for that to brown up nicely, I think this will fit in here now. this loosened up all right we want to make sure that's cooked well if you want your pan or if you want your crepe thinner just add a little bit more milk uh, you know but this recipe seems to work very good Crepes cook up quickly. You want to make sure you get just a little bit of color on that side as well. All right, I'm going to get this out of here. Get ready for my sauce. That's coming along nicely. I made some whipped cream. I use powdered sugar in my whipped cream, vanilla bean paste, and heavy cream. For 8 to 12 ounces of heavy cream, I use about uh, a tablespoon for eight to 10 ounces of heavy cream. So I, I like my whipped cream, not on the really sweet side. So there's our grain-free crepe. We're going to put one ounce 
of butter in there with two ounces of brown sugar. And what we want to do is we want to get that sugar cooking and glazing and caramelizing. There we go. That's looking really nice. I'm adding the juice of the orange and the lemon. And we want the sugar and the lemon and the orange juice to melt together and reduce to a nice syrup. And we're going to put about uh, half a tablespoon of lemon zest and a half a tablespoon of orange zest. Zest is really, really coming through right now. Really fragrant and smelling delicious. So this is where you have to be patient. You have to let this sauce reduce. You're uh, cooking the water out of the orange juice and the lemon juice. <coughs> You're concentrating that orange and lemon flavor the oils from the zest are adding an extra punch of citrus. Now, if you don't have brown sugar, you can absolutely use white sugar. You just have to caramelize it first before you add the lemon or the orange juice. Okay, that's getting down to a nice, uh, or pour the Cavassier or the uh, Grand Marnier. And we reduce it one more time to cook that alcohol out. So when we were doing this table side at chef school, you know, I, I had to do everything with a fork and a spoon. Yeah, you had to, had to pick everything up with the fork and the spoon. And, and you were getting graded on it too, you know, but... This is YouTube. This is low key. This is chillax. This is making your sweetheart some crepe Suzette late night as a surprise. So basically what we're doing here now is we're going to start dipping these crepes in this liquid. Fold them in quarters. And we make sure that they get nice and sauced. And we want to do this before the sauce is too thick. We want to do it while it's still a little bit juicy. So that crepe can do really well. Okay. And there's our crepe. Get 
that cleaned off while our sauce is reducing. And we'll put a little garnish on there. You know, if you got some fresh mint or got that like so. And we're going to finish it with just a little bit of cold butter. Swirl that in. We got a nice syrupy consistency. I turn the heat off while the butter is still just a little bit in there. Again, in chef school, they didn't like it when you poured from the saute pan. They wanted you to spoon it. It was more professional and I agree with them. So there's the, the lemon orange sauce and a nice dollop of whipped cream. And there you have Krebs Suzette gluten-free, 15 minutes from scratch, I'm saying yes. Thank you so much for joining me at Medusa's Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Greg, and we'll see you next time with another delicious recipe. Thank you so much. God bless.